Howdy folks, in this video I would like to share with you a potential solution for a failure called database engine failure which you might probably come across when you install 2012 or 2014 version. Uh, well I did get this issue and after referring a few articles on the Google and I was able to get it fixed so probably you might find few articles with the same solution but I just want to make a quick video so that you can get it been, get it done quickly as well. So this is the first error message you would get followed by the summary of features which are failed and the potential reasons could be that the user you had selected on the server administration page do not have certain permissions to start the database engine or probably the previously uninstalled versions of SQL Server might have created some sort of a mess in your registry. So the solution is simply that you have to uninstall all your previously failed ones and then probably go to your f SQL Server physical folder which is in C program files and SQL Server and just remove them or if you're not comfortable that's alright you can simply rename that by prefixing or suffixing with a tag something like remove or delete so that you can come back later and remove them when this installation goes fine okay now you go to your installation file and run that as an administrator and when you do that you would probably have to pay more attention here so this is the account name which is created by default so in your case if you had given your instant name as SQL Express then your username would go like slash SQL Express so don't select this user instead browse it and try to go to advanced and find the list of users it you can select either network service or system or local service so in my case I had selected local service and click OK and keep going so as simple as that so this would solve your issue and hopefully the installation will be successful but if not if you face this issue again then that means something is wrong with the registry so probably just go to the registry uh, and try to remove the keys mentioned here and if you're not comfortable enough then use some sort of a third party called Revo installer or you can find many in Google so just Google around and find some garbage cleaner and uh, try to follow the same steps once the installation is successful then in your server configuration manager you would see the SQL server start running so I hope uh, this uh, video is useful for you and good luck bye bye